General, you call for me. Step inside, Vamon. How do you find your quarters, General? I find my quarters just fine, Commander. That's not why you were summoned. You see, something's been bothering me. Mia? I've spoken to your men at the Keep, and their story is the same as yours. There was a riot instigated by the Resistance. In the ensuing chaos, Apostle Albani was killed. His body was, inconveniently, burned in the fire. It was a bloodbath, one that someone will have to answer for someday. Certainly, General. I will see to it. I'm sure you will. I also spoke with some of the surviving prisoners. Their story diverged significantly from yours. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. They're a treacherous lot, looking for any excuse to spread discord. Maybe so. But before the riot broke out, the Warden claims he was ordered to execute the Apostle. By you, personally, Commander. Lies! The Infidel is trying to save his own skin. Perhaps, but what reason would he have to lie? It doesn't absolve him of any responsibility in regards to the riot. He still awaits his trial at Coldstone. He tells me the noose had been made ready for Alvani to hang at first light. I'm not saying I trust the man. He's a cruel little person. But he appears to respect the chain of command. And what did the prisoners tell you? That the riot was set in motion to free the Apostle, not murder him. And that it succeeded. That's preposterous. Kian Alvane is ashes. He walks in shadow, lost and afraid. Far from the glory of the first mountain and the light of the goddess. So you tell me, Commander, and I'd hate to think you're lying to me or omitting the truth. Your relationship with Alvane. There was animosity. You knew each other. When you were boys. Ah, oh, we had run-ins. When we were both on the streets of Sidia, it wasn't uncommon. But your rivalry was bloodier, went deeper than boyish pranks. It was a long time ago. We were past that. I want to believe you, Commander. Your position here is important to me. To the Six. To all of Azadir. Have I not always served the Goddess and my people, Mia? Have I not proven myself to the Six and the Council? To the Seat, to you? Any suggestion that I'm less than faithful? It greatly offends me. As it should, Vamon. I have no wish to discover you've been lying to me. I have no wish to see you placed in chains. I want to believe you. And for now, I do. But I will continue investigating this matter, because something about it is not right. Something about it bothers me. If you know something, I urge you to come to me as quickly as possible before I learn you've kept the truth from me. I have not. I walk in the light, Mir. Everything I do, I do for my nation and my people. Very well. You may go. May the Goddess protect you, General. The light shine upon us all and illuminate our path. Night, Ulvik! What news do you have for us, Ulvik? Right, so a man comes into my bar this afternoon. Azadi soldier, off duty. Has a few beers, starts getting flushed and loose-lipped. Man says there's talk of a raid. This very night, in the magic ghetto. And there's a list. A list? The ones they're targeting. The ones they're bringing back out again. But why now? I mean, it's... it's not payback, is it? He did mention the weapons shipment that got blown sky-eye last week. Caused a fair bit of ruckus, that. Was the talk of this place for days. Seems some people enjoy a good explosion. Apparently, the commander of the Azadi Special Forces took it as a personal insult. A commander... Vamon. He would take that personally. Also, man said, there's been more weapons and supplies being smuggled into the city, right under Azadi noses. Well, they've caught a few shipments, so they know people are arming themselves in the ghetto, that there's trouble brewing. The mole's been more cooperative than usual. 
Whatever you did for Kian, it appears to have been appreciated. So, the way I see it, the Azadi might want to make a decisive strike tonight, before they lose control of Old Town. Well, they're not wrong. So, we need to find out who's on this list, and we need to know when they're going to strike, and from where, and we Patience, need to- Patience, Inu. One thing at a time. First, we must learn if, when, and where this raid is taking place. Then we must warn our friends, including the Mole. And then we must get our own people to safety before the Azadi come. I have a few contacts I can poke. Liko? I'll start with our people in the ghetto. Kian, if you could pay the Mole a courtesy call. That won't take long. Is there anything else I can do? I doubt it. Let's meet back here before midnight. Will do. Good luck, the both of you. Watch your back. Kia, if I may have a word. In private, I have a message from a uh, common friend. She wishes to see you alone as soon as possible. She told me she'd wait for you where all of Old Town lies below us. Wherever that might be. She does like to speak in riddles, that one. Thanks, Elvig. And when you do see her, tell her it's time she paid her tab. She won't receive another drop of Merry Minstrum until she does. I don't know what our friend means by where all of Old Town lies below, but I reckon you want to look for the highest spot in the bones. She might be talking about the bench. That's the plateau that lies between Coldstone and I Reed Avenue, right above the green. You can see the tower and most of Old Town from there. I wouldn't dawdle if I were you. She's got a red-hot fire burning inside her, that one. I don't know what our friend means by where all of Old Town lies below, but I reckon you want to look for the highest spot in the... She might be talking about the bench. That's the plateau that lies between Coldstone and I Reed Avenue, right above the green. You can see the tower. After my shift's over, who's there? Did you hear the one about the magical and the pregnant pig? No? It's hilarious. I think it starts...
It's a nice view, isn't it? I've always found Mercuria beautiful, especially in summer. Of course, those metal tubes are a bit of an eyesore. And that tower... Actually, the tower I quite like. Why did you want to meet me? Oh, so impatient. <laughs> you always were. I've been saving something for a rainy day. Someone, actually. And, well, no rain at the moment, but the forecast for tonight sounds grim. It can't hurt to pool our resources and share information. She knows something about tonight. Saving someone for a rainy day? There's an Azadi officer, high-ranking, a captain. He has, uh, an arrangement with a young woman in Old Town. A non-human. He's fucking a magical. Eloquent, but yeah, he's fucking a magical. We both know what it would do to his career if anyone found out. Let's strip him of his rank. He'd be arrested, tortured, most likely sentenced to death. All for a little blue girl and some exotic sex. Your people are so predictable, Azadi. So easy to compromise. You know, the more things you forbid, the more sins there are to be tempted by. You're a nation of the repressed, a powder keg ready to blow. But how will this information help us? Today is this officer's day with his young lady. She has a room near Shady Quay. Our horny captain never goes alone. The fool brings his uniformed knave to keep watch, which is convenient, like a big arrow pointing to the right door. If you were to confront the captain in a compromising position, there'd be no limit to what you could accomplish. Why give me this information? You could have profited from it yourself. I have no need for money or leverage. But I thought you could put this to good use. Find out what's going down. Maybe stop it. Save some lives. Or take some. I thought you didn't care about the resistance. I never said that. I never said I did either. But maybe I care for other things. Why did you bring me all the way up here to tell me this? Because I don't trust them or anyone. I've been burned in the past. But why me? Because you, Kian, I trust. I can't reject her. Why did you... Anna. Are you a ghost? Where in Shadow's name did you come from? Goddess, I'm tired of standing here. If you're a ghost, just leave me be. What do you want? I need to speak with the Mole. She's not expecting you. She'll want to hear what I have to say. Fine. 
but keep your hands where I can see them. She's not at all what I expected, but goddess help me, I like her. Has our the apostate not dead yet? I expect you'd be dead by now. If you live this long, you might even make it to my age, but I don't recommend it. When your bones ache each morning and you can barely hold your liquor anymore, you curse the gods for keeping you alive. You come to warn Mole, then. How did you know? The mole always know. Whispers travel on the wind and voices reverberate through the soil. There's word of raid happening. Of course, no one know for sure. The Azadi usually stay out of Old Town, afraid to cause ruckus, upset the order of things, afraid of people rising up against them. Though times do change, whether Rizardi attack happen or not, Mole's prepared. Don't you worry about the Mole. Mole has burrows. Besides, it may be time to leave Mercuria altogether. Those infernal machines your people build make my fur stand on end. They crackle. They buzz. They are Opposite of magic. Make Mole's head pound. Don't know what they're for and what'll happen when they're all done building them, but Mole don't like it. Don't like it one bit. Something's coming, Kian of the Rebels. I smell it. I feel it in my whiskers. In my aching bones. Something unnatural. Something mean. There's no room in Mercuria for magic or for magicals. Not anymore. No. Whether a Zardi attack is coming or not, it's time for the Mole to dig other burrows. Or perhaps return home to the birth burrow. Find an old familiar hole to sleep in. Sleep until this shadow has passed, or until, until we're all of us dry bones beneath the soil. You may consider your warning delivered. This is the last you'll see of me. The last you see of the banda, the burrowers the little ones who sink to the soil. My people, all gone. You tell your shepherd she's welcome to everything in my possession. All the weapons and food and medicine. All you need to keep fighting. Watch your hide, Kian of Clan Alvane. These are dark times and you're at the heart of it all. Well, why are you still here? Go, go. May the soil be ever soft under your feet, Apostle. The fate of worlds falls on you now.
While my veil is active, they cannot recognize me. Not unless I want them to, or I act carelessly. If I'm quiet, their eyes glide off me, and I remain invisible to them. An Earhardian veil can be very effective. a map of the southernmost parts of Mercuria. Who's there? Oh, next time, maybe. My table's always open, day and night. He's guarding the door to that house. This must be where that Azadi officer meets his... his girl. There's official Azadi business going on here. You'll want to turn around and walk away.
I need to find a way to get him away from the door. Go on now, nothing. The Magicals keep their heads high despite the Azadi threat. It's a testament to their resilience. I sell herbs, ointments. I used to sell all sorts of magical merchandise. Those days are over. Even here in old town. That sort of thing. Sorry you couldn't find what you were looking for. I've got the no sandwich into your exact orders. This stuff is similar to our black powder except it burns longer and slower. It's a potent explosive that can act as a propellant for both what muskets doing, and fire friend? flowers. Are you stealing from me? Surely you're no thief, a tall, strapping fellow like yourself. What can I do for you, friend? Would you care for a tasty sandwich? Your sign says sandwiches and fire flowers. Ah, yes. Used to be I made the best fire flowers in Old Town. Spectacular things that lit up the night sky. Sparklers and illuminations, crackers and flyers. But no more, I'm afraid. Alchemy apparently falls under the definition of magic these days and is therefore strictly forbidden. I can make you a savoury sandwich, though. Guaranteed sand and witch free. I've seen fireworks in the past. They're spectacular. I'd like to buy one of your fire flowers. Can't help you with that, I'm afraid. The Azadi have banned the use of illuminations, crackers, sparklers and flyers. Any and all alchemy. How about the ingredients? I would only need some of your powders and... My hands are tied, friend. Or at least they will be if I sell you any of my alchemic powders and potions. The orders are quite clear. There's to be no trade of any sort in magical items. In fact, I should probably clear away those chemicals later today. This place is flush with thieves and mendicants. Can I tempt you with a savoury sandwich? I'm the best sandwicher in all of Old Town. Also the only sandwicher in Old Town. Even... I'll have one of your sandwiches. Brilliant! Step right over here, friend, to my sandwiching table. Step right... Hey, don't touch that! It's delicate alchemy, and you're likely to blow your hands off. If that happens, the Azadi will shut me down and lock me up. Hello again, friend. Hungry? I'll have one of your... Brilliant! Step right over here. I perform my sandwiching over here. Not there, but right here. Now, will that be on fried flatbread, steamed yeast bun, or a baked grain roll? I really... Flat fried bread. Bride frat bed coming... Uh, I mean, fried bread fed... Balance. Fried flatbread it is. And just a dash of this, and a dash of that, and some of this, and a bit of that. How about some fermented moon seeds with that? Anything? Yes, please. Splendid. 
Hey, what are you doing? I told you. Oh, good, you're back. Now, stay still while I prepare your sandwich. Now, meat. Today, I have a cured elguan, pickled saltwater snapjaw, and kitten carpaccio. Kit kitten? My apologies, that's Kit A Carpaccio, a delicacy of the Rose Court. More of a, a doggy taste to it. Doggy? Doggy. It's a bird. Tastes like chicken. Ah, yes, then that, please. You better be hungry, you better not be fed. The sandwich maker's life is cutting up your bread. Sunny side gets cheese, and the other one gets meat. A sandwich maker's craft is, uh, something, something... Feet! Oh, would you like some crispy bitter leaf? And um, yes, please. Splendid! Didn't I tell you to stand still and not... Where did you go? It's very important that you stand right there while I'm sandwiching. It's a delicate craft, I'll have you know. And just a dash of this and a dash of that and some of this and a bit of that. Right, here we are, as ordered. Mostly, I had to make a few alterations. Remember to chew well and don't swallow too soon. Also, if you feel any discomfort whatsoever, a spoonful of vinegar should do the trick. If not, please visit a... F sandwiches! I've got tasty sandwiches! I've got eats from across the North Can I tempt you with a savoury sandwich? I'm the best sandwicher in all of Old Town. Also the only sandwicher in Old Town. I... thanks, but no. Very well. Just remember that I serve the best sandwiches in town, and at... Snack. Early breakfast. In Sadir, these things are called champions. They're often sold outside temples, military barracks and schools. Cured Elgin meat, pickled shrimp cheese, crispy bitter leaf, wrapped in a crunchy yeast bun. I've never seen a hardy ash with my own eyes. They say it's more than thrice as potent as our black powder. Got taz from Riverwood, soaked in saltwater brine and rat piss. The rat piss keeps it fresh. There's nothing wrong with a rat piss to your taz. You don't look like my usual customers. You're a lot bigger than them. Tell your friends. Hey! Did you find that turncoat you were looking for? I did not. But it was my fault. I identified the wrong man. Oh. So our whole mission was a waste of time? Certainly not. We'll get him eventually. And I got to see Honor Hilaris speak to his followers. That might be useful to us. Good. Are you on another mission? Perhaps. I'm sorry, boy, but I'm quite busy. Let me help. He might. You want to help? Yeah. Even if it's dangerous? What do you think? Uh, what do you know about fireworks? You mean fire flowers? I know everything. My father makes back Shivan candles for the festival of turning every year. Fine. Follow me. Yes! Sandwiches! I've got tasty sandwiches! again. Even I'll have one of your sandwich. Brilliant! Step right over here, friend. 
You better be hungry, you better not be fed. The sandwich maker's knife is cutting up your bread. Sunny side gets cheese and the other one gets meat. A sandwich maker's craft is uh, something, something feet. A dash of pungent oxy topping, yes or no? Anything? Yes, please. Splendid. From far away as a deer. Quickly, grab those ingredients. Can do. Something to tide you over before tea. Mm -hmm. A midnight nice snack. Mm -hmm. Early breakfast. <laughs> How was that? That was perfect. But remember, stealing is wrong. You told me to steal. In this case, it was justified. But don't steal. You'll lose a hand or, or your head. Here's the stuff. Right, here we are, as ordered. Mostly. I had to make a few alterations. Remember to chew well and don't swallow too soon. Also, if you feel any discomfort whatsoever, a spoonful of vinegar should do the trick. If you said not, your father taught you how to make fire visit flowers. a physician post -haste? Well, uh, sort of. He made Bakshivan candles, and I watched him make them, but he never let me do it myself. Said it might blow my fingers off or burn my eyes out, but I can give you instructions. Fair enough. What do I do first? First make the glowy balls. I don't know exactly how to make the glowy balls, but when my dad did it, the balls came out all glowy. From what I can recall of my alchemistry, essence of sunworm is produced by leaving the worms out in the sun until they blister and ferment, after which they're squashed and filtered into bottles. Essence of sunworm. Combined with certain organic materials, it can produce a strong glow. make the fire powder somehow. My father was never too clear on how that part's done. All I know is that it's powder that went pssst when it was lit. This stuff is similar to our black powder, except it burns longer and slower. It's a potent explosive that can act as a propellant for both muskets and fire flowers. Crimson crumb, used for colouring things a deep red. This is the tube where all the alchemical ingredients go, in order to make a functioning Bakshivan candle. Good. Now you need to make the fire powder somehow. My father was never too clear on how that part's done. All I know is that it's powder that went pssst when it was lit. Rub, tasty morsels. All that's left is to combine all the ingredients in a tube. That should be easy, right? You stop and then the glowy balls on top until the tube is full. That looks... Okay, I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but there's only one way to find out. You do know that you're in the magic ghetto. It's a working fire flower, a Bakshivan candle.
Martial law permits me to use my sword against you. Just so you know. Once this is lit, the fire flower powder should propel the glowing testes out of the hole in the top to create colorful alchemy. Country folk in northern Azadir have another name for these sandwiches. Ground crawlers. Goddess knows what that means. stalls open here. Maybe because it's late. Maybe business is slower these days. Or maybe the other vendors have been arrested. I used to sell all sorts of magical merchandise. Those days are over. Do come again! Of course it's possible to place a special... Oh, next time maybe. Exotic oils, foreign herbs, soothing sounds... The boy reminds me a lot of myself at that age. Orphaned, a street urchin living hand to mouth, eager to get into all kinds. I've never seen a hardy ash with my own eyes. They say it's more than thrice as potent as our black powder. Tell your friends. How was the sandwich? You don't feel any discomfort? Abdominal pain? Double vision? Excruciating agony? Good. All's well then. Nothing to worry about. Tell your friends. Here you go, boy. Now don't light this before I tell you to. Oh, man! I'll be careful. I promise. I can't wait to see how this one burns. 